Hello and welcome to the Heroes of the Storm 2.0. This is take on the mobile genre, and I must say, I love it. I used to play this game a lot. Maybe way too much. And uh, took a break at one point, and uh, what's 2.2 felt like the perfect time to come back. And uh, oh boy, they were busy. I can say that. And uh, unlike the other MOBAs, it tries to be more unique. Also, like, unique maps. Every every hero has uh, unique uh, talent, unique choices he, he can make uh, at every point. And also, I was uh, personally feeling uh, that uh, it, the game was getting harder to harder to get into. Because... Uh, the more heroes come out, the more uh, the more more uh, potentially new players need to acquire to have a, a fuller collection, which is not really an issue unless uh, you're planning to play ranked. But uh, it it could be an issue if you want to play ranked and uh, but not like you need a, a really wide collection. But it, it could be something that matters for sure. But oh boy, they decided to add. Uh, option to start out with bloody 20 heroes. And uh, that kind of sets you on the right path, for sure. So, 20 heroes right away. You can just uh, buy it for like 100 crystals, that's completely nothing. They gi give, it, give that to you. And wow. So you can just uh, buy this. Just to start out. And also, they added the uh, crates in the game, loot crates. In which you can find heroes, but those who already have the heroes will find uh, uh, shards that they can use to uh, craft uh, cosmetic items. So, if you have the heroes, this is a good way to make sure that those who are lagging behind with their collection uh, will uh, get more heroes. And those who are already have a pretty full collection, they just don't get more and more ways to get all the heroes. Without any effort, but uh, they will get uh, cosmetic items, and they might appreciate that. And uh, when I came back, to, I, I I had a lot of loot crates, and I already opened them all. So if you wanted to see that, uh, maybe we're gonna find some more. And uh, they are releasing a hero, a new hero every month, and uh, that is just very interesting. <laughs> and it, and uh, they seem to be pushing. What is uh, what is capable? They, it's always they're always just so different. But I, I suppose this doesn't uh, close the ties to the uh, Heroes of the Storm 2.0. I just took a break and I'm like, wow, you guys have that? I just I just saw Valera, like it's one of the. It's a release date. What? Uh, yeah, these are featured heroes. So Valera, I suppose it's uh, not as. Uh, New to some 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 players, the current players. O also, I obviously I, I played around with Cassia. These heroes are based on the other Blizzard franchises, such as StarCraft, these, these probes, and of course Cassia, the D Diablo 2, Amazon, Lucy, of course, the Overwatch, and Valera, uh, Warcraft ha uh, Warcraft 3, Rogue, and uh, wow, they they really nailed that Valera. I don't have her yet. I'm broke. I might get her at one point, but yeah, they really, really nailed her. But I should really get on... Well, you can just... Uh, the thing is with these huge bundles that if you have a preferred style, you can just go for that. You like playing damage dealers like uh, a lot of people. You can just buy the Assassin's Bundle. You like to be versatile. Come on, whoever kidding, you're gonna buy the Assassin's Bundle. Uh, if you like playing support the specialist, just kidding, you gotta buy the assassin's bundle. And if you like playing tanks and bruisers, you can get that, get this one too. This is my my best value bundle right now. Apparently, I'm missing the most heroes from this. But who are we kidding? Like, 90% of people are gonna buy the assassin's bundle. I know you guys. I I've played the ladder, okay. Everybody wants to be a damage dealer, okay. I know I know the pain. Anyway, and looks like what I would say is that they trying to make the game more awesome, <laughs> but also pushing it in a direction that it's more fair. So you can also 
You also just get uh, cool skins now. You can buy it with uh, crystals and shards. And uh, you can just randomly find it as well. And uh, skins are not limited to... To just money purchases right now. And I believe that's a smart way to do it. Because in, in a way you need to entice people. You just like, you know, I'm just like, gonna give you this and you're gonna love it. And you, you might buy more. And uh, yeah, this is definitely the approach of uh, like uh, Valve, for example. And uh, Dota 2 and uh, Team Fortress 2. And I, I, I've seen uh, a bit of a push toward like more cosmetics uh, as uh, free-to-play games progressed. And I definitely love seeing that, and that is what uh, Blizzard is going for. I'm, I'm just really glad they're going for it, even more cosmetics. Because it's cool, and it would make, make the game easier to get into, because you're not relying as much on just people buying power, just, just unlocking heroes. But they, they might just well just support the game in other ways. And you can buy mounts as well. Looks like I scored one of the... Oh, how's it? Damn. How do I? Old mounts. I have Tira's Charger. One fancy beast. Well, that's for sure. And, uh, wow. The thing is about uh, these, uh, is these cosmetic items is that they are just all over the place. And I say this in a good way. If whatever your style is, you're gonna find it. You want something uh, crazy? It's in there. You want something somewhat reserved or just cool looking or just awesome? They got it all. I, I don't know. They, they have it all. Some of it is not my style, but obviously they just have the variety. These banners are new things. If the objective is uh, taken, then uh, these actually get placed and... Uh, you can feel good about that. Oh yeah, I did it. I placed down the flag. It's almost like uh, conquering the moon, right? Just slamming down the your nation's flag and saying, "I did it. I was here." You can also have space as well, and that's fine. You can just uh, kill some people and uh, make them feel bad about it. I don't really have a lot of sprays. Maybe look, this looks like Cartoon Karazin is gonna be the tank. But of course, I should just uh, list by all sprays because a lo lot of them just look awesome. And they don't really cost a lot to buy. And they also added announcers. And I gotta say, I love announcers. They just really sp spice up the game. Prepare for combat. Oh. It just really spices up the game, at least for myself, for me, and they don't even cost that much. And uh, it's definitely a good, good one on their part. So, yeah. Some voice lines, they, they just vent with everything. It might just look like silly because they added in bloody emojis as well. Like, come on. You can buy bloody emojis, but hey. If people are just willing to pay for this, then hey, it's not even cost that much, but hey. If they're willing to support the game with this, and... Instead of that, they're gonna not monetize, uh, like, uh, heroes that much. That just sounds great to me. And also, if you just uh, log in, you get, like, uh, uh, over a month uh, long uh, stim pack, which is just awesome. And uh, they made other changes as well. So these loot crates, you can actually get uh, uh, four types, the commons, the rares, the epics, and the legendaries. And uh, in the commons, well, what you find in them is random, but brand the rare ones have a uh, one guaranteed rare loot, epics one have a uh, one guaranteed epic loot, and the uh, legendary ones have a uh, one guaranteed legendary loot. And uh, they change the hero levels, so this progression system. So they change the progression system that you can earn these crates. And earn a lot of things, earn a lot. By just, just playing the game and not really worrying about that much about anything. So, 
can I just check it out even further? Progression. So you earn these crates, and uh, your hero, le your player level is the combined level of all your heroes, and you earn these epic crates. And uh, you earn the legendary crates every 100 level. The epic crates, I'm not really sure. Looks like I'm gonna get in 23 level. Possibly that's gonna be the case, but I'm gonna get an, a rare chest in 3 levels. And if you, for example, the game has a lot of uh, modes in it, you can just play a quick match if you just want some quick casual fun. You can also play unranked draft if you, like, you don't have the boss to play ranked. You can also play ranked. If you wanna play with a lot of uh, guys who all, all wanna be DPS. And actually I was uh, very high ranked at one point. But... Uh, eh, I, I suppose. It's just, it's just fun. Rank, ranked is fun, in my opinion. So, looks like they also separated how it goes. If you play solo, you're not gonna mess up... You're not gonna be mixed with parties. Which is... Very nice to see. Because it used to be a thing, I'm really, really glad that they moved away from it. Because it was a major balance concern. Even like two guys working together is a big thing, and many games just don't do it. They used to have that in the past, and it was a balance concern. And uh, I'm really glad that they moved away from it. So, Team League is where, where the port is play. And I 100% can thumbs up that. I know this doesn't strongly ties to the Heroes 2.2 update, but I believe... Uh, some, like, good moves need to be recognized, because, uh, the feedbacks tend to be about just, uh, the bad, the, about the bad stuff. I, I don't even know what bad stuff is here to talk about here, but I just feel like the, the good moves need to be very much recognized. And also, there's a bra mode, which is a little bit like the hero, uh, Hearthstone Tavern Brawl. So, unique modes, like, uh, so totally crazy, and I think uh, Blizzard really hit the, uh, I don't know how I would say, nail on the head with this this uh, this kind of style, because it is just something that uh, keeps players interested and keeps them coming back. Of course, I took a break, but uh, in Hearthstone, for example, it is a mode that's just like, oh, they have that? Hmm, okay, I might just check it out. And even that, like... All Tracers uh, playing, that is the current uh, uh, bra mode, so, and you get the uh, extra, extra reward for it. So as long as you do it, it's gonna be 8 days left to complete it. Of course it's just for funsies. And, uh, yeah, just, uh, the main thing is in this update, like, a lot more, a lot more cosmetics, which is awesomely cool, and, uh, if you're just starting out, it is just uh, a lot easier to get started. Because you can just buy this mega bundle, which is exactly how I would call this bundle. But they also named it exactly like how I would call it. So props for that. <laughs> and uh, yeah. And if you're just opening up crates, because you can find heroes in crates. And uh, those who already have the heroes are gonna be... Of course, not gonna benefit from them, but if you're just starting out, you're just gonna find the heroes left and right. I managed to, well, I opened up all my crates and I managed to find heroes that I didn't have. And, uh, I, I don't know how much I played, but I definitely took a significant break. Where's my roster? I, I suppose that we should check out the collection. It's how it's called now. Heroes. I have 33 out of 65 heroes. And that is... And actually, I'm gonna say it, I didn't play a dime for this game. I didn't pay one, one cent. And uh, my collection is in a decent spot. Of course, uh, always you're not gonna own everything. That is just kind of how it goes. Because they just wanna incentivize you just to like, buy, buy the newest heroes. Actually, the newest heroes usually, well, always come out. A little bit more expensive too. So if you're just a free-to-play player, you're not gonna buy that for gold. But if you're willing to pay money for it, uh, like 750 crystals, then uh, you can buy it and it doesn't cost extra. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Actually, I should uh, uh, 
let's let's buy release dates and uh, they really come up with interesting heroes that actually have uh, different uh, uh, difficulties as well I, I tend to prefer the hard difficulty heroes and the medium difficulty heroes but some low difficulty heroes are fun as well and uh, yeah so the kind of uh, challenge you want I think that's a really good thing in games because those who just want I, I would say the game is easy you're definitely not playing easy mode if you're like playing an easy hero but you're playing a, a hero that is a uh, like less me mechanical, less mechanically difficult to just execute your skill set, or maybe just uh, yeah, medium hard, medium hard. They seemingly go with the medium hard approach for most of the time. But some heroes are easy if you just wanna have a. You don't wanna. It's not that hard to execute whatever you're dealing with, but obviously other heroes are all about just skill shots, and you just gotta do your best, or you're just gonna get screwed or just you have some elaborate combo so whether you want a, a medium difficulty uh, uh, executing your skill set or just you're you're in it to just to for to well hard well this is one of the hardest ones I know of but there are definitely other very hard heroes as well this just looks uh, interesting to me so obviously uh, actually uh, one hero coming out every month which is just interesting and definitely not tied to the the heroes 2.0 update and I believe I talked about everything yeah I, I want to talk to, talked about the, that uh, wait when a hero comes out it's actually more expensive but on that uh, when the heroes uh, came out and uh, like they're out for a while their price is gonna drop and the price of the older heroes I only have heroes that are just worth like 10k and, and uh, 7k but uh, there are heroes also in the game that uh, cost like 2k and 4k I bought all of them already but with the crate system it might be not you might not have to like buy them up like big time like I did you might just find them more I don't know find them early who knows I don't really know I'm definitely looking forward to finding more crates because it looks like a fun way to get heroes, and I definitely don't don't need that much that many heroes anyway. Anyway, actually, I can buy the mega bundle for eight more heroes or seven more heroes, and that should just set me up for uh, that should be enough actually for whatever I need. Anyway, I believe I'm just gonna play some games, and I wanted to talk a little bit about the uh, heroes 2.2 2.0 uh, update and. Uh, I like where the game is going. I just like where they're taking it. And I believe they're taking it in the right direction. And uh, I fully approve. So, Heroes 2.2. Looks great. Anyway, that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and uh, see you next time. And have a good one.